because I just kind of just want people's thoughts because I'm, I'm feeling a little bit I'm feeling a little bit confused here. In case you guys don't know, the 4.6 live stream just happened for the Genshin Impact Dev live stream. Our Latino was announced. Now, I'm letting you guys know, I will be going back to Genshin Impact. I'm going to be doing the 4.2 story quest very soon, and I'll probably be doing that on Twitch or YouTube. YouTube right now is bugged. I was supposed to stream to YouTube the other day, but it just wasn't really working out. I don't really know how to fix it, but uh, yeah, I, I want to stream to YouTube again and do that story, but um, I, I don't really know what I'm doing wrong here. But I was watching the 4.6 live stream, and I, I want to kind of take you back, because in case you guys don't know, I quit uh, Genshin Impact, and I just, you know, I used to be full-time Genshin Impact content creation, full-time Genshin Impact player, and I quit for the, like, probably like the Sinnoh quest and Sumeru. And the beginning of Sumeru, really not a fan of the world, really not a fan of the environment, was not a fan of Sumeru at all. And to be honest, I don't regret quitting during that at all, because uh, even going back, I didn't enjoy it even a little bit. Maybe you did. I can't help what you like. You can't help what I like, right? But I remember Tower of Fantasy came out beforehand. And I think Tower of Fantasy came out kind of around the time of a little bit past Inazuma. And a trailer was put out where all of the Fatui Harbingers were, were being announced. And I remember the first time I ever saw Arla Chino, and I've been stoked for her ever since because she's one of the coolest looking characters I've ever seen. I was also very motivated because I knew that that release of that trailer was an attempt to be directly competitive with Tower of Fantasy being released because Tower of Fantasy, whether anybody wants to acknowledge it or not, for a week, it completely overshadowed Genshin Impact until we realized, well, it was a terrible game. <laughs> Unlucky. And now that game is dead as f***. But I remember the first time I ever saw Arlen Chino, I was like so stoked to be a Genshin Impact player. And I, and I hold that memory very, very, very fond, uh, very fondly because she's beautiful. She looks cool. And I think they did a great job with her kit. But I was reacting to the 4.6 dev live stream. And it's probably the most hyped I've ever been for Genshin Impact. But it kind of just seems like nobody gives a f And it's strange because this always seems to happen where when I give a f about Genshin, nobody else seems to give a f about Genshin, and then when nobody gives a f about, or, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like when I like it, they don't like it. When they don't like it, I like it. Which sounds really weird, but I'm talking about a video game here, real quick. But uh, yeah, it's just odd, and I'm not seeing really anybody being excited in 4.6. As, as a matter of fact, I've seen more so negativity for 4.6 than any of the other patches that seem like pretty dead patches and i'm not saying my community i mean other content creators don't care uh other chats don't care twitter doesn't seem to care but i am excited for arlie chino no no i i get it if it's one of those things where it's like fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me like i get that but i, I looked at the update for 4.6 and maybe i'm missing something i feel like the patch is going to be pretty good and this is coming from the guy who shits on everything you know like i'm, I'm pretty excited for the arlecchino story quest ito getting a story quest might be pretty fun who knows and i love ito now obviously i really hate how they still haven't changed his model to like you know actually be jacked he still looks like a little scrawny piece of shit which i hate and i also kind of really feel like they just milk the out of max middleman well because he's max middleman the the events seem okay there's some cool combat ones. You know, the Wind Trace is back. That'll probably be fun for at least a little bit. I think Wind Trace is pretty good. Obviously, you guys know that I feel like it should be a permanent event mode or a permanent mode, and then it gets updated every now and then. So that way, Genshin Impact players have, you know, something to do whenever the content's dry. But uh, yeah, the, the new zone looks nice where you, and I'm obviously not excited about swimming in Fontaine. Uh, that that completely went out the window the moment I saw that ugly ass bubble diaper that they wear, and I feel like the novelty of swimming just really doesn't do it for me anymore. I I barely enjoyed it. It seems more like a f chore. Uh, I don't know if you like swimming. Feel free to let me know. Uh, I, I I don't give a. F I I said it was gonna be bad from day one, and it, it was better than I thought. But I still don't want to do it to be completely honest. But yeah, I I am wondering genuinely. Like, why do people not give up about this patch? Personally, the Wuwa hype has me in a chokehold. Watching the streams and seeing the gameplay for Wuwa has me completely uninterested in Genshin. Just my own feelings on it. Maybe others feel the same. I will agree. My hype for Wuthering Waves is enormous. Uh, May 22nd, mark the date, man. I'm going to be grinding that shit on stream and on YouTube. Like, I'm going to explode both platforms with content and just have a good time. I I'm greatly looking forward to Wuthering Waves. Even if it doesn't meet my expectations, I'm just excited for the mere presence of Wuthering Waves because I feel like Wuthering Waves on launch is going to be okay, 
But I feel like once we see the live streams and the updates for it, I think that is when it's really going to hit the ground running. I think 2.0 Wuthering Waves will be when the game really comes into its own because it's gonna have to learn the hard way of what it means to be held to such a degree that people are going to hold Wuthering Waves the same uh, level of standard as Genshin Impact, only they're actually gonna be hard on Wuthering Waves and they're not hard on Genshin because, oh my God, what if Ganyu hears me? And you know, she starts crying on stream. Isn't that right, Ganyu? I should be the only motherfucker getting crazy. You know, and so obviously not everybody is going to be holding Wuthering Waves that regard, but I know a lot of people are, and certainly social media will be, uh, even though I'll be real, social media doesn't really matter too much, but uh, man, companies sure do think it does, and it's very nice when we can trick them into listening to us. But uh, yeah, I mean, if people are just excited about playing Wuthering Waves and that's why they don't give a about this patch, I just don't know. I feel like some of the other patches have been so terrible and people have defended them, like dead patch after dead patch after dead patch. I feel like this is the first non-complete dead patch that Genshin's gotten in a very long time. And I feel like it was met with a lot of criticism, which to be fair is okay. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm just trying to understand why that is. I guess ever since HSR has been released, people have really noticed the difference between quality and rewards. I mean, yeah, no, I 1 million percent agree. Obviously we're, we're starting to wise up a little bit. We're starting to understand that, hey man, if you want a good game that's complete, just play Honkai Star Rail. And uh, I guess that's what I'm getting. I guess every now and then, you know, whether I want to admit this shit or not, I, I, I do miss the days of where I played Genshin Impact. I could just go live, do whatever for a stream, have Genshin in the background and get like three, 4,000 viewers and have like 10,000 subs. That shit was really nice. Uh, but uh, I, I guess I understand how it feels when a lot of people are, or when some people are excited for something, but nobody else really gives a I guess I'm starting to get that right now. And once again, that's totally okay. If this is a product of Genshin players one too many times, totally understand. And I also understand that while everyone else is burnt out because they stuck with the game, I'm going in brand new once again, completely refreshed when I go back in again for 4.6, uh, which I will be doing uh, beforehand and on release day, which I am still excited about. But uh, it was just a strange feeling. I did actually the same TBH. I think people were much more hyped for Chiori than Arlecchino, which is weird. Yeah. Like, and Chiori blows. I mean, I think she looks cool, but I don't really give a fuck about her character at all. Arlecchino's story quest, I feel like is going to be dope as No, I don't get why it's not an Archon quest because she's a pretty damn important character. But I, I guess we're just going to have to figure it out. Blood really out here yapping about Genshin when no one gives a at all. <laughs> Same old events. The main parts of the patch is the character, boss, and character story, not Archon Quest. It'll be enjoyable the first few days, honestly, but it'll be dry soon after. I mean, but the thing is, though, is that that's every patch of Genshin. Name me a single patch that's not like a 2.0, a 3.0, a 4.0 that actually lasts longer than two, three days. That's kind of what Genshin has always done. I'm surprised Genshin is still as hype as it is for a gacha game. Mihoyo needs a serious competitor as the top gacha dev. They recently became the top private, no publicly traded stocks gaming company with over $23 billion valuation. Top 12 private company worldwide. That is insane. I can definitely see the start of Wuwa being a little rocky, like you said, from the updates, but will only improve from the foundation. The combat looks amazing and totally engaging, whereas Genshin is just click, 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 click. Incoming slow wind up from enemies, sprint click, 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 ability click. And the whole Pokemon enemy farming is such a good idea. I seriously cannot wait. I mean, yeah. And and don't get me wrong. There's there's nobody, and you know how I get, there's nobody more excited for Wuthering Waves than me. There's just simply, you might think, you might think that you're excited for Wuthering Waves, but you got to understand, I get to play Wuthering Waves and I get to make thousands of dollars. So I assure you, I am much more excited than you are. Okay, I'm stoked. I can't wait. Game's going to be awesome. Content's going to be awesome. Dude, dude, the streams are going to be No, I'm going to connect that community, highlight a bunch of new smaller content creators. I can't wait. It's going to be good. And then even more so, I get to take the money that I'm getting and give it to my viewers. And then I get to give my viewers money and then they get to summon and then I get to make content out of their summons. And it might just be a jolly good time. But uh, yeah, it feels very humbling to still be one of the pillars of the gacha gaming community. And to be on top when almost every other content creator is in rough waters, I'm still doing very good for where I'm at. But uh, yeah, I'm going back to Genshin. I'm pretty excited. Only going to go for a little bit. Just going to peek my head in. And then I'm going to dip out until Natlin comes out. But uh, I am I am hoping that Natlin gets teased very soon. But uh, yeah, 
I'm gonna peek my head in. 4.8, 4.7, 4.9. Don't really give a. F I mean, maybe I'll do the quest if um, Al Haytham's in it. No, not Al Haytham. Demetrius, Daenerys, Zentries, Dantes, Danesleaf, Danesleaf, Danesleaf. If there's a Danesleaf quest, I'll probably do it. But uh, yeah, regardless. Appreciate you guys. I just kind of want to get your thoughts on Wuthering Waves and um, Genshin Back 4.6 and Arlochino. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll be reading that shit later on my stream and uh, appreciate you guys. Thanks for stopping in. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace, boys.